pathway, we celebrate the memorial of St. Ignatius of Antioch, and our readings today um, give us some of the sense of, um, of death, of, of fear, um, of, um, as our response said, the Lord set me free from all of my fears. Um, it was a very challenging time for the church, um, for the early Christians. Uh, many of them were martyred for their faith. And Ignatius um, becomes a Christian um, in, the, in the years after Pentecost. Um, he didn't live, um, he didn't personally walk the way with Jesus Christ um, as, as one of the apostles. Um, but Antioch was the second generation of Christians. And he led the church in Antioch after Peter had left from Antioch um, to, um, to head to Rome. Interestingly enough, Ignatius of Antioch, um, he was taken to Rome as well um, at the end of his life. Many of the Christians thought to try to, to, um, to do some sort of coup to get him out of, of Rome so that he would, he would be preserved, uh, he wouldn't be martyred for his faith. Um, but Ignatius said, no, there is, there is great dignity in, in being a martyr for the faith as well. And eventually they took him to um, Circus Maximus uh, where he was fed to a series of animals. Um, that happened at the end of his life. There was a great debate in the 3rd and the 4th century about the writings of St. Ignatius. St. Ignatius wrote uh, extensively, especially between the years of 70 AD and 100 AD. And there was this debate in the 3rd and the 4th century as to whether his writings should be considered part of the New Testament because he was so close to the apostles. He knew Peter, he knew many of the other uh, apostles as well, and he, he wrote about... Um, many things that have become very influential in the church. It was decided in the, the third um, and then uh, finalised in the fourth century that um, the books of the New Testament should be the Gospels and the letters written by those who were walking with Jesus um, or Paul who was walking just at, just at that moment after, um, after Jesus had risen uh, and ascended. So, but, but Ignatius's writings are quite interesting. He's the first one who coins the term Catholic. We are Catholic, and we, we know we, we are Catholic because of the writings of Ignatius. He says that Christians are called to be Catholic. That means we are universal, that we are in unity with people, not just in one town, but right across the world. He talked about the importance of the Eucharist, that we gather together as a community in the worship of Christ in the Eucharist on a very regular basis. They were talking about this before, but he was the first one to write it down and spell it out so clearly. In the years after 70 AD, 70 AD you have the destruction of the, the temple in Jerusalem. Christians are trying to work out, are we meant to be Jewish? Are we meant to be Christians? Prior to that, between 33 and 70 AD, many of the Christians were Jewish, except for where Paul was going. And so they would, they would participate in the synagogue as, and the temple, as well as participating as a Christian community. Ignatius starts to write in the years after 70 AD that as Christians, the day that we, is most appropriate for us to gather is the day of the resurrection, the day of Sunday, not the Saturday. For the Jewish people, Saturday was their Sabbath, their day of rest, their day of prayer. He said, no, Sunday is for Christians the day that we gather most, um, most fittingly because that is the day of the resurrection. And that's impacted us right up until today. Up until the writings of Ignatius, most Christians would have gathered on the Saturday. Some would have gathered on the Sunday as well. From Ignatius's time, Christians then gather on the Sunday and at other times as well, but Sunday was the day of the Lord for the Christians. So Catholic, that's a term that we all take for granted. We know we're Catholics. We're Catholics because Ignatius starts to use that term. We gather on Sundays because this is what Ignatius said is the most appropriate way for Christians to gather. By the third century, his feast day was already be being celebrated on this day right across the Christian world. He's considered one of the great early church fathers and um, he's considered also a very heroic martyr. So we pray for his intercession today that we will be truly Catholic. We will be, uh, have a true devotion to the Eucharist and to the worship of Christ, especially on the day of the Lord. St. Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us.